Welcome to Grow. Tonight we're going to make a kitchen rosary. So you see a finished product in front of you. We have the Apostles' Creed, the Our Father, and the three Hail Marys. This is called your introductory row. Then we have the different decades in the second row. And then we have the ten Hail Marys in the third row. The supplies you need for making a kitchen rosary include a frame. Ours is a 4 by 6 frame. You are going to need the background of your choice, and we have a background already printed out. You're going to need bead wire, otherwise known as jewelry wire. You're going to need one crucifix. One medal of your choice. Six Our Father beads are in there. Thirteen Hail Mary beads. Scissors and a needle nose pliers. Optional would be clear nail polish um, or Mod Podge. With supplies gathered, determine which way the frame will be orientated. And what is the top? You'll want to pay attention to the two uh, spots back here that you will use to put the dowel in to set up your frame. Now that I've determined my frame is a vertical frame because the wires are going to go across. I'm going to mark with a piece of tape up here on the top just so that I don't get confused later on on which is my top and so that I don't put the beads on wrong. This is a horizontal. This is a horizontal frame and the beads will be going from left to right. You need to determine if you want to go from left to right like this set or if you want to go from right to left. When you determine that then you'll know where you're going to have to put your cross, your um, Our Father and your three Hail Marys. For the grow activity, we have pre-painted uh, the frames in either white, uh, gray, or navy blue. But at this point, if you wanted to paint it, you would paint it. I would recommend a foam brush. If you wanted to seal the frame, you could use Mod Podge or another sealant of your choice on the frame. Next, you're going to screw in six eyelet screws. And you're going to have them horizontally equivalent to each other. Now, we will start with our introductory part of our rosary. So we're going to lay out the beads. We're going to have the crucifix, one of the crucifix, then um, three, no, uh, one, our father, three Hail Marys, and the saint medal. A critical reminder is if I am going from left to right in this. If you have determined that you want to go from right to left, you need to do the opposite of what I have laid out. 
Okay, now that we know we have the introductory uh, row, we're gonna start on the middle row. And you might have a few beads extra, or you might lose some on the floor. So that's why it's really a great idea to lay out everything before we put them on the wire. Next, we're going to do the middle row. And just as a side note, you know, you can have different sizing of beads, you can have different colors, you can have all the same ones. This will just, this is just for an idea. You can be as creative as you want. But for our middle row, I'm going to do five Our Father beads. So go ahead and pick out five Our Father beads. Okay, finally, finally we have our top row, which will be our Hail Mary beads. So we're gonna lay out 10 Hail Mary beads. One, And so I highly recommend putting all your extra ones in the little cup that are going to be around or that the beads came in because that's really handy and then I haven't lost any on the floor yet. Okay. Okay, once you've decided how your kitchen rosary will be laid out with your introductory, your middle, and your third row, it's time to start threading the wire and the beads. If your wire is not sectioned yet, if it's one long wire, you're going to want to cut it into three even sections. I already have mine cut into three even sections. Okay. And one caveat to that, three equal pieces long enough to reach to each side with about one inch of overhang so that you can you know, tie it off tight. And we'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Next, so you can have the eyelets either facing horizontally or vertically. And it will be just fine. We think that vertically is a bit cleaner and horizontally looks a bit more professional. We are going to thread one end of the wire through the bottom first eyelet, twisting the end around to form a knot. So we're going to go through, bring it up, and twist it in a knot, like it's a bread tie. So now I have my wire twisted around the eyelet. If I have kind of a long tail right here, I might want to trim it up a little bit um, because I want to make sure my beads come to a certain spot. Okay. Next, we're going to thread the introductory part of the rosary onto this wire in the order that you've decided. So either the crucifix first or the metal first. For me, it's the metal first then three Hail Marys, then it'll be the Our Father, and then it'll be the uh, Crucifix. So now I have the first row of beads put on, and I'm going to then feed this wire through this side of the eyelet, fold it over, and twist it again. I want to try to make this as tight as possible. Okay, we're going to weave it through the opposing side of the opening, keeping your orientation and pulling it taut and twisting it close. Because the more taut, then the more straight this is going to be. If you, if you don't do the taut, it'll droop. We don't want droopy. Droopy is beautiful, but probably don't want droopy. I'm, I'm going to show you just how it took, I've found to fold the wire real easily, put it through the eyelet, just fold it over the eyelet, and then that holds it pretty taut right there, and then 
since there's no frame or no picture in this yet, we can kind of feed it around and feed it around a few times. So you're going to finish the second row and the third row like you did the first row. A little pro tip is if you use your uh, needle nose pliers and you pinch the wire together once you have it folded over and twisted, if you pinch it together, it just adds a little bit more pressure to it. Also, another tip is um, when the wire initially comes through, if you clip it, pull it a little tight and up and over, that makes it tighter as well. So now you have your abacus done and you can pop your background in and then um, put, there's some paper stock that you can put in underneath as well to make it even more strong and more sturdy. And then you have the beautiful, beautiful kitchen rosary.